Hey everyone, Dan with Mac Rumors, and Apple just announced its updates to the MacBook Pro lineups. And to be honest, I'm a bit shocked the company went with such an under the radar release because the 2018 MacBook Pros have some pretty significant upgrades over the previous generations. <laughs> At first glance, the new MacBook Pros won't look any different than before, but it's what's under the hood that really matters. Users can now configure a 13-inch MacBook Pro with a quad-core Intel Core i5 or i7 processors up to 2.7 GHz and with Turbo Boost up to 4.5 GHz, and also 2TB of SSD storage is available. The 15-inch is where the massive performance boost comes into play, with configurable options including a 6-core Intel Core i7 and Core i9 processors up to 2.9GHz, with Turbo Boost up to 4.8GHz, and also 32GB of DDR4 memory, and a powerful Radeon Pro discrete graphics with 4GB of video memory in every configuration. You'll also be able to expand your SSD storage up to four terabytes. Both models come with a new display that offers True Tone technology, which is the first time that this feature has been added to a Mac and helps adjust white balance automatically to match the color temperature of the light around you. And even the touch bar supports True Tone. Both models also come with Apple's T2 chip, which according to Apple includes a secure Enclave coprocessor that provides the foundation for secure boot and encrypted storage capabilities. The T2 chip also brings Hey Siri functionality to the Mac for the first time. This means 2018 MacBook Pro users can say the Hey Siri voice command instead of clicking on the Siri icon in the Mac OS menu bar or tapping on the Siri button on the touch bar to activate Apple's virtual assistant on your desktop. The new MacBook Pros also contain a third generation butterfly keyboard, which we really hope fixes the flaws that the previous generations had with the sticky keys. But the only new feature that Apple is currently touting is that they are quieter. It will be interesting to see just how quiet they are in comparison to the 2016 and 2017 models and whether they will hold up any better. Overall, the new MacBook Pros are going to be much better in the performance category now that the specifications are up to 2018 standards. I know a lot of users, myself included, have been clamoring for 32 gigabytes of RAM, and although it comes at a premium, it's going to be nice to have that option. Speaking of options, if you're interested in picking up any of the new MacBook Pros, you're looking at a starting price tag of $1,799 for the 13-inch, with a fully specced out 13-inch model costing upwards of $3,700. For the 15-inch model, you'll have a starting price tag of $2,399, and it can be customized to reach a jaw-dropping price of up to $6,700 with all of the bells and whistles. So let us know what you think of the new updates to the MacBook Pro lineup, and if you're planning on picking one up in the comment section down below. This has been Dan with MacRumors. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.